Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I have an unboxing from Trisha Paytas' subscription box. I'm not going to say the name of it because apparently you get to monetize. So I'm going to show you what's in here. She did change up the look of the box, different picture. And then we do get a list of the items and their values on the back of the card. And I already watched someone unbox this, not too impressed. It's definitely an expensive subscription box for what you get. So I will be canceling it um, this month. So the first item I'm pulling out are by Pop Band. And these are just hot pink lip ties. Some of them are sparkly, some of them have flamingos on them. And it says this retails for $9. I mean, I'll definitely use those, those are cute. Also have a super glittery lanyard. This is a retails for $2. A little jewel on it. Next item, another lip product. We got one of these before. Um, it says it's her lip gloss. Retails for $16, and it's just a different shade. Before we have just gotten like a clear glittery one. Also got a nail polish, and it looks like it was available in two different colors. I got the more hot pink one. The other one was like a soft pink. It says it retails for $10, and this company supports various charities. 20% of proceeds donated to animal charities, so that's cool. Love that. I don't use nail polish, however, because I do Color Street, so I don't use nail polish anymore. So I'll probably just pass that along to a friend. So, so far, not much I'm going to be using from this box. Um, we also got some Halloween-type body and face glitter. Um, Halloween was yesterday, so this didn't come in time. And I actually hate body glitter. I know Trisha likes glitter. She puts it on her face. It looks pretty. I hate glitter. Um, so I won't use this, but there's a purple. Looks like a purple and orange one. Orange and black. So, got that. And this says it retails for $10. I think I already said that. And then this is the more expensive item. It is some perfume. It's called Royal Perfume. Retails for $36. I'm going to go ahead and take a whiff, see if it's anything I would actually wear. This actually isn't bad. I had to spray a lot of it. It's not too fragrant, so just like a spray or two is probably okay. Um, not something... I necessarily would gravitate towards, but I'd definitely wear it. I mean, it's not bad at all. It has a nice lighter scent to it. And I think this is the last item in the box. The box was super light this month. And this is a makeup eraser. I have not tried this. I've heard good things about them. Apparently it retails for $20. And you could erase all your makeup with just water and this. And it looks like instead of being plain, it does have little kisses imprinted on it so i mean i might give that a try um i'm just so used to like soap and water and toner and stuff to take my makeup off so i don't know what do you guys think i know from the comments you guys typically don't like this box and i agree way more expensive i could get several boxes several subscriptions for the price of this one and get more items and stuff so um i will definitely be canceling and I'm going to be very upset if she happens to include next month like Jeffrey and Shane's little mini palette or something that'll suck but that probably won't happen. If so, hey I'll be kicking myself but if you guys are interested I'll put all the information below for the subscription and as always thank you so much for watching. Bye guys.